she rides. This shit is nice though. Look at that. It is nice. Look at this. Bill Lubman, they did a good job. Look, it's even That's got nice too. You know the ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thunder Max I Ride. Thunder Max is right here close to us in Tennessee, and they have some really cool products that they've come out with to handle some situations that a lot of Harley guys have been in over the years, and Harley tried to fix it with a limited low and an ultra low, which have gone away. Thunder Max came out with a new product, which is the first of its kind to the industry, yep. that fixes the problem with the guys that have the shorter inseam that are getting on these heavy bikes that want to be flat-footed without sacrificing your ride at highway speeds or in town. So we're going to go over the iRide and how I ride. they've solved your problem if you have it. So computer-based system, they have their own software for it. They have three different ride heights set up for the iRide. Right here in front of us is just the rear suspension setup. They also have a front and rear setup for iRide. So why they have three settings? The first setting is your normal ride setting, which is pretty much anything at normal operating speeds under highway, but not stopped. So those other two will go over in a minute, but that's pretty much where you want your bike to sit when you're cruising in and around town loaded down or unloaded because it automatically adjusts. The other two settings they have is what is your slow speed setting or your stop setting. We typically set them at seven miles an hour. So when you're approaching um, your parking spot, when you're coming up to somewhere, maybe you gotta hit the brakes real fast, you're already at that lower level. So your stop height, we do under seven. So when you're coming into a parking lot and you hit seven miles an hour or lower, the bike's automatically going to drop to your desired setting, which most guys is pretty much almost all the way down. Right. So, psh, drops down that easy. You come in, you're running 10 miles an hour, nine, eight, it hits them, psh, bike drops down to your setting. You're good to go that way. If you're in a parking lot, looking for a parking spot, you're trying to park somewhere, you're at a restaurant looking for a spot, you're stop already at sign. that level, a stop Street sign, line. and you're just turning off. That way, as soon as you hit two miles an hour, it doesn't pump back up, then pump down. So we set them at seven miles an hour typically, and that's the recommendation. The other setting that isn't normal would be your highway setting. We set that setting, depending on the customer, at 60 to 70 miles an hour. And what that setting does is we usually max out the suspension. Yep. We wanna give you full travel when your bike is running highway speeds. That way if you hit something, you're coming into a corner that's 70 miles an hour, maybe a little bit over, you have the full suspension to absorb that corner, absorb bigger bumps you're gonna feel at higher speeds. So this little guy goes right on your handlebar. Boom, real easy to control. You set it when you're not riding, and then you can watch it. The bike, when you hit a bump, or something happens, it gets loaded down, and automatically adjusts to the setting you have pre-programmed in the iRide setup. And it gives you the details in real time. And another nice thing about it is if something does happen, and for some reason there's a malfunction or you start to lose air, you're gonna know immediately. We deal with a lot of air ride systems and guys have dealt with them over the years and they've had problems with them. I want to go over the quality. So this stuff is made here in Tennessee. It is aluminum. The arms on most of these that we see are typically plastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, they flex. This one is super nice. It's all CNC'd. Um, aluminum. Very nice quality aluminum. Their computer systems are top notch too. I mean, I believe the specs are perfect. Specs from iRide. <laughs> Love it. Um, anyone that's running a boosted motor is pretty much running Thunder Max's system. Yeah. They're the leader on computer systems for boosted motors, whether you're doing a turbo or you're doing a supercharged system. And or, now they've taken their technology, which is pretty advanced compared to most of the systems we have, and they've attacked the suspension market. Yeah. All mounting on factory mounts? Yeah. Back there by the saddlebag? Yep. A lot of these other kits, they pretty much give it to us with instruction, like, find a spot to hide this. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean, I've seen them where people will, like, mount them inside the saddlebags, and you're like, what the? So we're not Craziness. drilling holes in your saddlebag yeah. for this guy. Nope. No holes in your saddlebag, no water, no RTV squirted around the cables <laughs> yeah. or anything going in and out of your bag, which the more stock a product looks on the bike, the more I like it and recommend right. it to a customer. Yeah, absolutely. When we see something that doesn't look stock, we're just like, oh, man cool product, miss the mark. We want something, plugs, 
OEM and they look style. stock OEM style. When stuff bolts up to the bike on existing brackets, we're not cutting or modifying on your bike. One, it's easier for us to install it because we're not modifying it. Two, if you ever want to take it off and move it to another vehicle, since you didn't modify the vehicle. Yeah, you haven't destroyed the original mount. Take it off, put the vehicle back to stock, move it to your next desired Harley Davidson that you purchased from Moonshine Harley Davidson. Okay. Put it on. Yeah. We'll let Mike do his magic. Let's install it. Got to have a little snackies for, for Mike. Got to keep him happy, you know. I know he likes his pink frosting and uh, sprinkles, so for real. Hey, good morning. Snackies, Hello. your favorite. Oh, look. <laughs> One's missing. I ate one. They're pink. <laughs> My favorite color. This is a special build, and I, I'm, we're enjoying it. Um, we're enjoying being part with you guys to, to get this thing done, and we've got some great partners on the build. Um, obviously, as it comes together, we'll, we'll continue to talk about all the partners. Sure. But yeah, the Thunder Max stepped up, and I can't. I'm, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's great, and they're such a great company. You know, they're located right here in Tennessee, which I love. Yeah, you know, we've got. Uh, there's a. We did a video on the motor build. We've been able to do run a different couple different exhausts and and whatnot thanks to. Uh, Brian's support, you know, we've kind of been able to use this for some testing and uh, the next step is, you know, we'll, we'll get this thing put all back together and then you're going to take it for a test ride. Hell yeah. I'm going to try to hold on. Well, it's got my favorite bars on it, so you'll be able to hold on good. Nice. We, we went crazy with powder coat. I mean, well, we really did. I mean, it's pretty a little subtle. bit, but subtle, subtle, but not lots of little things. I think well, it's going to be good. I've powder coated way more than this on motorcycles. It's a, a whole motorcycle. She's coming together. She's coming together. We've got little tidbits. Uh, Throttle Addiction Pony uh, sent us some stuff to put on here too, so we'll we'll nice. get that shown when we get to it. Cool. Perfect. That's great, man. All right. I should let you get back to work. Yeah, I'll see you in a couple days. Perfect. Thanks. See ya. You got so when you change the modes, so you can switch to fixed mode, and it says okay. Now it's going to lift the back and lift it to the maximum height. So the fixed mode is nice if you're like loading it on a trailer or just moving it around at slow speeds or riding through a parking lot, you right, know what I mean? Right. In a slow parade or something. So it keeps it at full height all the time. And then you switch it back to normal and it's gonna air it back down to your low setting. And you can monitor it here. So one of the cool features of this is, uh, maybe if I can get to it. So it does have some engine monitoring most of that is for the Thunder Max ECM that right. it works with, but it'll it'll do like engine temperatures and and uh, a couple of little things. But it will do your miles per gallon, which is pretty neat. Nice. I guarantee so, I did not just have good miles per gallon. Oh no no no! You 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 <laughs> won't. I just got on her. So in on the highway, you're still going to get around 40, 45 oh, miles a gallon. So okay. if you're on a trip and you're easing in the throttle and you're in the closed loop center, you're still going to get the same mileage you would have stock. Right. You know, now, as you're hot robbing it, you're going to drop, you'll see it drop down to like 28, 27, 30 miles of the gallon, which, I mean, is still better than most cars. So it's like when I would normally drive it. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. So we're building this bike uh, for my organization, Horsepower Therapy. Uh, we're a veteran nonprofit. Um, our whole mission is to get veterans out involved in anything that goes fast. So cars, trucks, Jeeps, motorcycles now. Um, we get veterans out to, or, to events all around the country from Bandemir Speedway out in Colorado to get them drag racing to SEMA. So one of that's an industry event that's closed generally to the public, but for the past few years we've had the, the honor to bring in some great veterans out to things like SEMA show and just getting folks involved. And that's half the battle, is just getting veterans out involved right. in something. Right. It doesn't matter what it is, there's great organizations out there that do hunting, fishing, all those things, but we like, I'm a car guy, I'm a, I like to make things go fast. Sure. This motorcycle is going to go crazy fast thanks to you guys. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be fun. So that, that's that's what this build is all about. Um, she's called Wild Horse. That's after a, a unit that I was uh, had the pleasure of being with. Um, so that's what this air, this uh, motorcycle is going to be called, Wild Horse. Yeah, there was a unit that was Tame Horse, but I don't think they made it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah. No, no. I'll tell you who she, doesn't like U.S. veterans, the bad guys. <laughs> they definitely do they, not like They do not yeah, like U.S. veterans. They definitely do not. No, yeah, it's, I've experienced that myself. Yes. 